In the last tutorial we imported our Lego minifigure. Now it's time to texture our character. The easiest way to get free Lego textures is to download them in the Makerbricks workshop. Export your file as Collada. You can find the textures in your downloaded zip file. The problem I have with these textures is that the resolution is limited. Means if you want to take a close-up, it looks pixelated. That's why I make vector files with Inkscape. Inkscape is an open source software and therefore free. Vector-based images do not consist of a specific number of points. That's why they can be scaled to a larger size without losing any image quality. In the past I looked for pictures on Google and drew them. Now you can also use the Megabricks textures as a template in the background or try to vectorize them. After drawing your texture you can export it in any resolution you want. I use the PNG format. For my next short film I made a texture for a soldier based on different official LEGO minifigures. If you like the texture you can download it on Patreon. Little by little you can get everything I ever created with LEGO, including a master minifigure, textures, 3D LEGO models and much more. In Blender we open our minifig and go to the shading tab. Now we load the texture into our material. You see I use a very simple setup of the material. I link a picture in the comments. In the UV editing tab we unwrap our UV map. Go to edit mode and click on face select. Select the front of the torso and unwrap from U. Do some adjustments. The same for the back side. Now you can set the color you want. Repeat this workflow for legs, arms and head. In the next video I show you how I animate the face.